Welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. I am Connor Williams and we're back with another video. Today's the announcement that Jordan Pickford has signed a four and a half year contract with Everton Football Club. Um, this comes as a bit of good news. He was uh, rumoured for a while. I think it was back in January. We'd first heard the rumours of him potentially signing a new contract um, a bit before the World Cup. I think it was rumoured there as well. Um, but then it all went a bit quiet and then there were rumours that Everton's board might be looking at Jordan Pickford to cash in on him, depending on the situation that we find ourselves in, um, which is, uh, I think, most people's worry. It was certainly my worry. I was like, he's, he's one of our most valuable assets. But uh, no, the news today he did get that contract that I, I personally think he deserves. Um, I know... As of lately, the most memorable fit, you know, the, I think for the derby, he, he sort of had a little bit of a wobble. But um, I think when you think about what he gave us last season, him along with Richarlison, I believe, kept us up. Uh, they're the two players that really dug their their heels in. That game against Chelsea last season, phenomenal. He's been very good for us. Uh, uh, the media won't give it him. Alex, Alex Crook saying some obscene things. Um, the media won't give him the sort of recognition he deserves because he plays for Everton. If he was playing for like a Tottenham or a Chelsea or a United or an Arsenal, I don't think he'd get as bad of a as as of a rep or people won't remember his bad points as often. Uh, for instance, Aaron Ramsdale had some absolute howlers. Douglas Louise scoring from a corner against him, I think it was last season very rarely gets mentioned because he plays for Arsenal. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, he's still, you know, Nick Pope playing for Newcastle, now New Nick, Newcastle are pushing up. Howler the other week uh, that's got him his red card. Don't think that'll get mentioned, though, because it, it's not Jordan Pickford. Um, but yeah, ignoring all of that, he's very, very good. He's a very good player for us. European Championship runner-up, did all he could for England in that, in that final, save some penalties, Save Jorginho. He's a good penalty saver. Uh, he's won Premier League saves of the year in 2021-22. Um, he's played over 200 games for us. He really is a fantastic player. Uh, and it's nice to see that the club are doing this. Four and a half year contract as well uh, means that um, he's going to stay for a long time, hopefully. It also means that if he was to ever leave, uh, aka a transfer, hopefully that means the club can sort of almost pick you know pick their price so if he did ever leave it'd be for a good amount of money which is even better if you're going to lose a top player you want to you know you want to you want to lose them for money uh so yeah he'll be with the club now till 2027 uh he also got a photo with contract dave probably contract dave's last photo before he leaves for manchester united which is a shame um end of an era there but uh, yeah jordan Jordan Pickford did also comment on it. He said, this contract will take me more than 10 years at Everton. I want to build a legacy here to put myself up there with the likes of Neville Southall to be one of the best keepers to have ever played for Everton. Um, and it's interesting because I think, um, I think he is among a certain conversation. Um, I don't, he's still got a way to go before he's anywhere near Neville Southall, but People were saying, um, and it, ent it entered an interesting chat, who's the best Everton keeper in my lifetime? Bit too young to remember Nigel Martin, um, as I'd have been about four, um, three or four then. Um, so just a bit too young to remember him. So in my era of, of Everton from like, I don't know, like um, 06 upwards maybe, 05 upwards, um, 06, 07, um, it was probably Tim Howard. I think Pickford is a better keeper than Howard. Um, I think he's the best. He's the best uh Everton goalkeeper that I um, I'm talking about in my lifetime of you know sort of that period where I can remember it. Um, and it's just good to see. Obviously, Dominic King broke news the other day that the contract was going to get signed. He said Sean Dyche has been impressed with his attitude. Um. So yeah, Jordan Pickford, absolutely brilliant news for me. I know we could name some howlers. I mentioned the Derby the other week. There's a couple of Derby howlers and there's the Newcastle one. Um, but people seem to remember the bad and not the good. Last season, uh, there are far too many games 
to even be able to pick out three. The Chelsea one is the one that distinguishably is stuck in my head. But um, he had so many games where you were like, wow, wow, without him, we'd have gone down. Without him and Richardson's goals, we'd have gone down. Um, so, yeah, fantastic goalkeeper. Fantastic England goalkeeper as well. Like I said, I don't think you'll get the credit. I'm not that fussed about England, but when I watch, I hope Jordan Pickford does well because I know one bad game for England and it will be relentless for him. But um, that Euros final, like I said, did everything. Save the Jorginho penalty. And I'm pretty sure at that point, Jorginho's penalty uh, success rate was, I, I don't know if it was 100%, but it was very, very close. It was truly amazing. Um, great penalty stopper. Great shot stopper. Good distribution of the ball um, as well. He's got a good left foot on him. Um, I think this is a really, really good thing for us. Um, but yeah, congratulations to Jordan Pickford on your contract. Well deserved, in my opinion. Thoroughly deserved. Nice to see the club are committing to him and not cashing in on him. I was a little bit worried with cashing on our most valuable asset, which is him. Um, but no, hopefully this is also a sign that the club are ready to stay up uh, and are confident in uh, the ability of the squad and the manager to stay up. But yeah, just want to end on fantastic news for Jordan Pickford and the club and the fans. Um, that's all I've got time for. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and comment down below your thoughts on Jordan Pickford and his brand new contract. I'll see you guys soon.